Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I will be showing you how to install the Cyanogen Mod 12 based on the Android 5.0, that is the Lollipop, on your HTC One M7. In order to install this ROM, you must be rooted and should have the latest custom recovery installed. If you don't know how to do that, check the description. Make sure you back up everything important because you will be losing all your apps and data. And uncheck fast boot from the power options. Once done, hit link 1 from the description that will take you to this page. Download the ROM, the G apps, and the super SU file. Transfer all these three files to your internal memory. Once you have done that, turn off your device. Once the device is off, hold the down volume and the power button at the same time until you get into the bootloader mode. Over here, use your volume keys to navigate and power button to select. Go to recovery and hit the power button. So this will take us to the recovery mode. So as you can see, we have the latest TWRP recovery installed, that is the version 2.8. So once you are here, go to wipe, advanced wipe, so choose Dalvi cache, cache, data and system. So make this selection and then swipe to wipe. Now go back, 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 go to install and go to wherever you have the ROM file. Select the Synosin Mod 12 ROM file and swipe to install. So guys, this will take some time. So the installation is done. Now go back and this time you need to install the G apps. So select the G apps and swipe to install. So these are the Google apps for Android Lollipop. Once done, again go back and install the super SU zip file. So now that's done, hit reboot system now. So the first boot will take some time, just be patient and I will be back with you guys. So guys you will get this optimizing app screen, uh, don't worry about it, the phone will automatically reboot again. Okay guys, we are back and we have successfully installed the Synogen Mod 12 on our HTC One M7. So let me just skip through the basic setup. So as you can see, we have the new app 